Good morning. My name is Dr. Omar Abdel Wahab. I'm a member of the Leukemia Service at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center. This morning, I'm going to tell you uh, about our recent work on uh, improving the prognosis and risk stratification of patients with myelodysplastic syndrome. As many of you know, myelodysplastic syndrome, or MDS, is a very heterogeneous disorder, uh, which consists of patients that have very poor survival uh, due to uh, death from tra transformation to acute myeloid leukemia or death from cytopenias, to patients that have actually a relative relatively long survival. And uh, previously, uh, we've uh, been able to determine or try to predict the prognosis of patients with MDS utilizing things like blood counts and cytogenetics. Uh, but however, now in the more molecular era, we've determined uh, in collaboration with several other people, including Drs. Raphael Behar and Drs. Benjamin Ebert, that um, there are a number of molecular alterations which are very important in predicting the prognosis of patients with myelodysplastic syndrome. And indeed, this is actually a whole collection of genes our gene panel, which we think will be very important in determining when you see a patient in clinic with MDS, how well or how poorly they're expected to do with MDS in the future and may greatly improve our ability to take care of these patients in the future.